A potential serial killer now charged. This is Nightside, I'm Carolina Lead. The families of Corlenzo Williams and Vernon Williams randomly killed just two days apart in St. Pete now have a sense of relief. Police charged Johnny Carnegie with their murders. He was previously a person of interest. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido explains why police say a huge danger is now off the streets. I'm glad they got him. Relief in the community after a suspected serial killer is put behind bars. And I don't wish jail on anyone, but at some time when you do certain things, you deserve to get punished for it. 34 year old Johnny Carnegie now charged with two counts of first degree murder after killing two men at random and one count of aggravated assault after trying to kill another man. The subject would just go up to the person. All he did was ask the person for a light. Can you give me a light? And then he shot the person. St. Pete Police Chief Anthony Holloway says 60-year-old Vernon Williams was killed first on April 10th in South St. Pete. Two days later and just five minutes away, 24-year-old Corlenzo Williams was gunned down. We were able to get evidence that he drove over from Tampa, found his victim, shot his victim, and then drove back. Chief Holloway says Johnny Carnegie met Corlenzo Williams and shot him right here after asking him for a light. He then rounded the corner, found another man, asked him for a light as well, but that man saw the gun and took off running. And if that person didn't take off running, he was going to shoot him too. If we didn't take him off the street, he probably would have done more shootings. And that uncertainty left the community concerned. You need to be off the street. Just killing people by random, that's crazy. I don't think you can put a label on a killer. A killer's a killer. What he did was wrong. Now I can walk I can walk down the street and, you know, safely. I don't have to look over my shoulder every five minutes or every car that passed by. As Chief Holloway tells me they were able to get a cold-blooded killer off the streets by analyzing surveillance video from both of the shootings here in St. Pete and by evidence as was collected when Carnegie was arrested in Tampa by TPD. Now he says the community is safe, but should someone see something that seems a little off, he wants them to report it. And this isn't the first time Carnegie has been behind bars. He's got a long rap sheet with 26 previous arrests and more than 90 charges, including aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, drug possession and burglary.